One in seven men will develop prostate cancer in his lifetime. It is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in men behind lung cancer. Well, new research shows some men may have twice the risk of developing this if they've shown signs of chronic inflammation in their prostate. Knowledge that eventually could be used in early detection. Since 2001, 68-year-old Ira Abbott has been doing his part to advance medical science. Ira volunteered to be part of a research study focusing on prostate cancer. Twelve years after Ira enrolled in the study, he received some unsettling news. And I had gotten a personal note from a doctor saying, hey, you need, you need to come in and talk to us about this. Results from his prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, test raised a flag. It indicated that... Uh, well, it, it was 10.5, and that's pretty high. A biopsy revealed he had prostate cancer. Ira's case and others like his have allowed researchers to study chronic inflammation in the prostate and its relation to prostate cancer. We've always seen in the biopsies of many patients with prostate cancer, or some without, we see the inflammatory cells in the prostate. Dr. Thompson is one of several of the study's researchers who believes the two might be related. They now want to know what causes the inflammation, how it may contribute to cancer, and if the inflammation can be prevented. Ira chose to move forward by having his prostate removed. He's now doing the things he loves and is thankful to be back on the road to recovery. And I'm glad that it was taken care of early. Researchers caution that this study does not prove that inflammation causes cancer. Dr. Thompson says the findings could eventually be used as a tool for the PSA test.